Listen to me very carefully. As I go back through my life, my business career, I have unlocked a secret that I will give you. And the secret is basically, if you could change one thing, if I could change one thing, it would be you need somebody speaking into your life from a third party position. I don't care how high IQ you are. I don't care how much business skill you have. You literally cannot see your own blind spots. That's why they have mirrors in cars. I was just driving up to the farm here from, you know, I was on a five hour drive and I was like, man, if you don't have mirrors, you could be the best driver in the world, but you get blindsided. The mirrors, if they're properly set, eliminate the blind spots. So if you're building a business, if you're scaling, second you start scaling past 10 million in revenue, all of a sudden these blind spots pop up. So you must have an outside force. Now, theoretically, your father and mother should be this fourth. Generational wealth is the ideal situation. Generational wealth. Real life, if you're like me, you didn't have generational wealth. My mom and dad made nothing, essentially, financially. So, you know, that's why I started talking about my 67 steps. Mentors, because the mentors are the mirrors that see your blind spot. And it's interesting, like I, I've been talking about, you know, you really dissect and reverse engineer Elon Musk's success, richest man in the world. He had his PayPal mafia in 2001, 2002, when he was really beginning to build this empire. He had 15 of the smartest guys in the world in a room with him almost every day. The two guys that went on to co-found YouTube, the co-founder of Reed, uh, Reed Hoffman, went on to co-found LinkedIn, billionaire, Ken Howery, Peter Thiel, co-founder of PayPal. And that's, that's only like five of them. There's like 10 more. So he basically was able to maneuver not out of his own intelligence alone. And so, you know, I have a private client program. I was, I was on like four calls to, in the last four days. And some of my, some of these people that I'm coaching are sharp. One guy, you know, I was just with in Dubai. He's got a 600, over 500 million valuation on his company before he's 30. But doesn't matter, there's weeks, there's blind spots. So basically what I'm trying to say is it's impossible to overcome your blind spots from within. You can go and meditate, you can go to every seminar, every conference, you need somebody who looks at your stuff and goes, 99% of what you're doing is good, but what about this? And I was just thinking, the reason I decided to record this video, <laughs> I get like these moments of inspiration. I was out walking on the farm and I was going, looking back, in the last five years, I'm like, wait a second. In hindsight, it's so obvious. Very, I was thinking of a blind spot in a business I had that kept me probably was a hundred million dollar difference in net worth. I could have gone up an extra hundred million had I seen this one blind spot. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to do everything right. You know, even having mentors depends what kind of mentor. Is the mentor really paying attention to you or is it just somebody you have lunch with once a year? Like that's, uh, uh, that's, that's not a full-time mentor. And the thing is, I think a lot of entrepreneurs and I see this, it's like, well, I'm, I'm, look how much I built on my own. It has nothing to do with your own intelligence. It's literally, Nietzsche said it, the mind's an impenetrable fortress. Meaning you can never see all angles in your own blind spots, not possible. That's why even... Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Messi, Ronaldo. They had a coach from like age eight to age 38. I think LeBron's 38. You ever think about that? It's like the best basketball player in the world, the best soccer player, the best fo football player, the best baseball. They have coaches from eight to 38. And then you meet the average entrepreneur. It's like, oh, who speaks into your life and pays attention to you? And has a watchful eye. Oh, nobody, how can you really, like you think you're more skilled than LeBron James in your field, than Messi, than Ronaldo? These people, I'm friends with Chris Paul, you know, soon be Hall of Famer in the NBA, made $300 million playing basketball or more. And it's like, I spent, I was over at his house spending the day and it's like, he's got a coach in like 18 areas of his life. It's like a shoe coach, not really, but he's got a dietitian, nutritionist, a stretching coach. He's got like four different basketball coaches. You know, I'm like, I'm hanging out with entrepreneurs. I'm going, you don't remember the quote, no man's an island. And so I think almost everybody's underperforming their net worth. Myself in hindsight, that's the whole reason I'm 
recording this video, whatever your potential net worth could have been, whether it's 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, 5 billion, 10 billion, you're underperforming it if you don't have your own PayPal mafia. Your own, the president of the United States has a cabinet. I'm reading a fascinating book on Adolf Hitler uh, in World War II versus, it's like Adolf Hitler versus Roosevelt, Stalin, and um, Churchill. And it's such so many fascinating stories in World War II, we don't even realize this is all about the meeting they had in Iran, Tehran, most people don't know. There was a scheduled meeting between the president of the United States, Eisenhower, you know, Stalin, Churchill, to take place in Tehran. There was assassination attempts. There was a torpedo accidentally shot at Eisenhower on the boat over. It's one of the biggest mistakes in naval history. The president took a boat across the United States in a big fleet and friendly fire, they shot a torpedo accidentally. You know, it's interesting. They arrested every single person on that boat. But anyway, that's for another story. But as I'm reading this story, I'm going, because Roosevelt's way, people don't realize Roosevelt was a big deal in defeating Germany in World War II. And I, but Roosevelt had the sharpest advisors around him. He had sharp people. And so make war with a multitude of counselors is what the ancient proverb said, make war with a multitude of counselors. You're underperforming your net worth. This is literally not possible. You need, pro and you probably need your own PayPal mafia. I'm not talking about one mentor. This isn't a video just to get you to hire me as a mentor. Private. I'm getting actually too many people in my project. I got a 100K program, my private client program. I, I almost can't handle what I have now. So it's, this isn't even like an attempt at that. This is just saying you probably need like, 15, if the president of the United States has a cabinet of 15, and I go to smart entrepreneurs and I'm going, what's your cabinet? Smart people you can reach out to in every area. Do you have 15? People are like, no. I'm like, well, you don't value yourself as much as if you're your own president of the United States, as if you're your own Roosevelt, your own Churchill. You should. You got one. As far as we know in this parallel universe, time appears to move forward. And we'll probably be able to have time machines that go into the future, but we don't know how to go backwards. If you can go the speed of light or close to 99% of the speed of light, you'll, you'll travel effectively into the future. But we don't know how to go back yet. Even quantum physicists are blind, you know, so I'm like, you better get the forward correct. And since you can't go back, give yourself the chance to win. Start assembling your 15. Assemble your 15. Now, what should that 15? I mean, obviously you need lawyers in there, you need accountants, but there's other more advanced. There's like, what kind of lawyer? Do you have a tax attorney versus just a low level lawyer? Do you have a, you know, a EA, a CPA? What's the level here? Is it a CFO type person? You probably need a CFO, you know? Now, you can't always afford to have 15 people full time, but like hire them, deploy money. I like what Naval Ravikant says. You know, Naval's out, it's such a great thing. He's like, buy happiness with the mere money. Now, he's saying that tongue in cheek because you can buy everything, you can't buy love, for example, but you can buy proximity to people who might fall in love with you. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing you can buy, you can buy wisdom, buy wisdom. I guess what I'm trying to say is all of our regrets, mine, yours, underperforming your net worth, making way less money than you could have easily made with the same amount of work you're already putting in now is all a wisdom thing. The scientific word is prudence. The religious word is wisdom. It's a subset of conscientiousness and it's real. Dr. David Buss from Harvard told me the single biggest factor he's seen uh, statistically in wealth creation is conscientiousness, which is in great part prudence. Do you make good decisions? And so, by my recording the video, I'm gonna give this to my children and my grandchildren. I'm gonna go, you can't have all the wisdom in your own brain. Ain't no, but just like you, when you drive, you can't see 360, so you must have mirrors. Everybody, don't think you're some superhuman mutant owl that can look 360. No, get mirrors. You have three mirrors in every car, right, left, boom. But when I meet entrepreneurs and they're, they're worth 10 million, they're worth 50 million, I'm like, you could have been worth 100 to 500 million. But you were missing that Elon Musk PayPal mafia. So a lot of people are out here, they're like, oh, are you talking about networking? No, this isn't, you can just network and get no results from it. I was like, oh, listening to YouTube videos? Ah. But you need people paying attention to your stuff, it doesn't count. Those are teachers. You can have a teacher on a YouTube video, on a pot, they're teaching, that's not the same as a PayPal Mafia cabinet, close watchful eye. You need a defender too. 
you need a person seeing stuff like, ah, oh, don't do that. Or, ooh, because the reason I bring this up is there was a point in my life when I was like, oh, I got this big personal brand. How do I monetize it? You know, do I just focus on monetizing with my own face? Do I start branching out? Da, 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 and I tried like all these variations. And that was, you know, my personal brand. I started it. That was one of the first big personal brands to scale on social media. And I was, I started in like 2012 and I did it and I was thinking, and now in hindsight, I could mentor myself to save myself. I, I would have got worked half as much and made 10 times more money if I could go back and mentor myself in 2012. Cause now in hindsight, it's like a magic trick. It's obvious what I should have done. Should have a hybrid approach, use your own face to build your own brand, but diversify out, use your brand to get other brands. Anyway, it's inconsequential what the specific advice I would give to myself because you're not me and I'm not you. But what the takeaway is, I was thinking about business every day. I had billionaire mentors. I had all the, but they weren't all full-time or part-time or even closely watching me. So to the extent, every area of my life, I've had somebody closely paying attention to me weekly or monthly, at least, it's worked insanely well. We're confusing teachers and mentors nowadays. A teacher is someone who speaks into your life occasionally. You get a class, it's a YouTube, it's a podcast, it's a book. You know, I love books, I got a whole nother shelf right there. But that's not what I'm talking about. A teacher is great, but a teacher doesn't impart, doesn't actually protect you and increase your net worth in the same way as a watchful eye going, ah, been there, done that, that, that I've been on that permutation. I played that chess, chess. I've played that chess opening, Rui Lopez chess opening. That one does not win that variation. Like chess players, it's funny. People say you shouldn't read, but uh, Magnus Carlsen, greatest chess player ever. Bobby Fischer, these people read nonstop. Why? Because you can study chess openings. So I see every entrepreneur starting their own business, scaling to the first 10 million. I remember scaling my first 1 million of revenue. I mean, I remember my first 100 grand, my first mil, my first 10 million of revenue, my first 100 million of revenue, my first 500 million of revenue. I've done more than 500 million a year. And I'm like, in hindsight, some dude that had already been there or some woman had already been there could have been like, that chess variation appears to do well, but watch out for this. Now, you're still gonna make some mistakes, but your net worth is proportional to the amount of mistakes that you make. If you look at the richest people in the world, they'll say, because they wanna be humble and virtue signal, like, oh, I've made many mistakes. No, 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 that's not why they're Mark Zuckerberg hasn't made financial mistakes. That's why he was the first person under age 37 in modern history to be worth 100 billion, or really in history, if you use nominal dollars, but nobody's ever done it, because what mistake did he make? He was offered a billion for Facebook early on, like 08, 09. He turned it down. Seemed to be the wrong move. Was the right move. By the way, he was mentored back then by a pretty good, sharp person named Steve Jobs was his mentor. So I don't know if Steve Jobs told him, don't sell, you got a good thing. But that was a wise move. 2012, he said, I'll pay a billion for this weird app called Instagram. Everybody said, that's the most anybody's ever paid for app. In hindsight, was the smartest move ever. Because now I would say... <laughs> Instagram's worth half of a meta empire. So let's call it 100 to 300 billion. So he turned a one bill into a couple hundred bill. Then he gets WhatsApp, pays 17 billion. Everybody thinks he's crazy. Turns out now, because he owns WhatsApp, Mark Zuckerberg has the largest telecommunication company in history, better than, bigger than Verizon, all T-Mobile, all these things. So in hindsight, no. What, why Mark Zuckerberg's net worth has not He's outperformed his potential net worth is because he made almost no mistakes. Now, I don't know his personal life. He made a very personal. I'm just talking about business. We're talking about money right now. So now all the Forbes list people are the ones who didn't make that many mistakes or they made them when they were had a long run time. They made them at like age 16, you know, but not Mark Cuban. I remember first time I met him telling me a story at my house. I'm like, this dude. <laughs> took one company, got Yahoo to give him a bill in shares. You know, turns out he got the best end of that deal. I was reading about Denmark and Norway negotiated against each other back on the oil, on the oil fields of the ocean, not the oil fields, but the deep water territories. Norway outmaneuvered Denmark and got the greatest deal in basically modern history. They got all the oil. They, they, they said, no, we'll take this area. And that's where all the oil is. And I don't, they're almost the largest 
oil producer. They're basically the wealthiest country in the world, more than Saudi Arabia. They have a one and a half trillion dollar sovereign fund, bigger than the Middle East, bigger than Saudi. They made the right choice. They didn't make the mistake. So be careful, man. I know we all live in this world and I've made mistakes, but that's not what I'm gonna tell my kids and my grandkids. I wanna be like, build your PayPal mafia, build your advisorship, get your 15 people surrounding you, make less mistakes than average, and you will outperform your potential net worth, not underperform. I wish somebody was telling, I wish I could have a time machine and go shoot this video back for myself in 2012. Cause I was kind of on the track. I already had mentors, but they were two part time. You do what Naval said, spend money to get them. He says, use money to buy happiness. I'm like, use money to buy wisdom. Every good decision I've, I've made some wide decision myself, but a lot of the, the best decisions I've made have come from the hybrid, the synthesis of multiple smart people speaking into my life. They knew my situation and they spoke into it. Hire an executive coach, hire a better lawyer or a couple lawyers. Have a, a, a different CPA, double check your accounting, see if there's better, more optimized ways of doing it. You know, hire, 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 hire. Use your money, man. Because if you don't, you just waste years. Would you rather have more years or more money? I'd rather have more years. What does it profit a man to have all the money in the world but be 99 years old? Nothing. Money has marginal utility just decreases once you hit a certain age. Would you rather have a, be a millionaire at 21? Maybe that's too young, maybe you'll blow it. But would you rather be wealthy in your 20s and then poor in your 90s? Or poor in your 20s and wealthy in your 90s? That's actually, people will answer that differently, but think deeply on that one. That one's a little trickier than you think. If you hear my passion in my voice, and because I'm like, bro, don't underperform your net worth. Don't be so cocky. Pay. I, I, I get on calls. I guess I have this 100K program where people, I just rolled it out like a year. I was like, you know, I'm going to charge 100K. And surprisingly popular. I don't know if it's because it's a high price. People go, well, I must be getting my money. But people are getting their money's worth. First guy brought in, this dude, now he's been following me for a long time, but I wouldn't surprise if he would be a billionaire by next year. He's, he's netting 50 million after tax. Young still, man. Got all these dudes, 25 to 35. But what I've noticed is uh, it ain't too cheap when it comes to bringing smart, wise people into their life. Find 15 of them, man. Buy them. If you, I was on a call with a guy, he goes, Ty, how can I get great people on my podcast? I'm like, well, you can send 10,000 cool emails or you can just send them, here's money. Come on my podcast. Now, if you're poor, you don't have the option. Then you got a cold email and cold call and da 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 and talk your way in. But some of you, this video is for those of you sitting on, I was on a call with two dudes. They're sitting on 2 million cash. And they're like, I don't know what the best investment is. I'm like, this is the best investment. They're in my 100K program. I'm like, this is the best investment, man. What are you talking about? You don't think I'm going to give you 100K's worth of value? Come on. You in the online space? Talking to a dude who spent more money, tested more things, almost any human on earth. Me. Doesn't mean I've done it all right. You get to buy the what I've learned from my own mistakes. That's what you're buying. <laughs> they had only paid half the program. They paid 50 grand for some reason. I was like, yo, why are the other 50? I did one call with them. I'm like, I just gave you 10 million of value. And they were like, oh, we're buying the rest of more. So anyway, it's funny. I have three levels. So I have my, my level that's like the 100K program. Then I have like a 250K program where I do the mentor program. Plus my team will take over your personal brand to blow you up, like running all, a lot of your stuff. And then I have a million dollar partner program where I come in for equity and just use my full power of my brand. I call my 12 disciples. Funny. So I rolled this out as a test in 2016. A guy you all know paid me 2 million bucks. I blew him up. He went from never making more than 2 million a year to I think within a year, well, within six months, he 12 x or 6 x sorry. He went to 12 million. Then he went to 40 million, 38 million or something. But crazier, I did it again. I, I don't have time always to do the 12 disciples in certain years. I did it with a real estate guy. He just sent me a video. Started with me two years ago, paid me a million bucks. He said, I'll give you, I got a, a warehouse. I'll pay you 500,000 in a warehouse in New Mexico. I was like, okay. And then he's like, I'll give you 500,000 cash. 
to a million bucks. And I use my brand to blow them up. It's my partner program, my 12 disciples. He just sent me a testimony of a video unsolicited. He's got 600 million. He went from 20 million in real estate holdings to 600 million because I made him into a brand using my brand. So those are three. I have three levels. I'll put a little shameless plug. If you want to talk to me and see if it's a good fit to be. And I turn people down. So it's not, I'm not begging you to join. Uh, I'm, I'm going to hit a point for sure. I started it last May. I was like, oh, and I didn't advertise it much. And it's now just grown by word of mouth. I just have two people in 24 hours. The reason I do the 100K program, by the way, it's not really worth it because it's an eight-month program, so I make 12 grand a month. So it's, it's nonsense. But I learn from these people too. That's the cool thing about the PayPal mafia. It's like, Elon learned from them, but they sure as hell learned from him. So for some of you who are coaches, you should build a high-level program. If you actually have, by the way, don't be... Charging if you don't have a lot of experience. I got a lot of experience. I got for what you're trying to do online, I got more, you know, they say 10,000 hours. I'm at the 30,000 hour range. So buy the wisdom of my mistakes, man. You ain't just buying my wisdom, you're buying what I learned the hard way through my mistakes. So anyway, I'll put a link. If you're interested in my private client program, my personal brand level, so the 100K level, the 200K level, or the million dollar partner program. That's you invest a million, we build whatever it is. This is not for beginners. So you may, it's fine that beginners watch this, but this is now for those of you. Most of my people are doing 10 to 100 million in either revenue or if they're software companies, enterprise value. The average person probably making eight, five to 10 mil profit a year. So if that's you, click the link below. If it's not, don't click the link below, please. Don't fill up my forms because my sales guys screen them and it's not, we're not, I'm not going to try to put you in my hundred K program if it ain't a good fit because it's also boring for me. Now I, I don't mind, by the way, I'm not cocky. I don't look down on beginners, but I, I teach beginners. I got a whole bunch of programs on tylovas.com that are for beginners pre-recorded. They're good too. You don't need the hundred K program. You don't need a 200 K, you know, personal brand and advisorship. You don't need the million dollar 12 disciple program. But for those of you who you want to know the best use of your money, and by the way, in my program, I'll also show you other people you can hire that I know or just I'll show you how to find them. You need your PayPal Mafia. You need your Roosevelt, President of the United States, Cabinet of 15. You need your advisorship. You need your family office, man. Make war with a multitude of counselors. Those of you, some of the people are going to watch this video and it's going to go in one year. Oh, Ty's just trying to out and out like now. Enough of that nonsense. People trying to say, oh, it's time to do that. online. I remember in 2012, oh, online. Back in 2012, people still thought every college degree was worth the money, boy. I remember being like, oh, most college degrees ain't worth the money. You should have seen the backlash I got. I had to live through almost 10 years of people saying it's a scam and that online learning is fake. Uh, now Harvard put, is online. I won that battle. I don't win them all. That's one I won. That's one I want. College has its uses. College is like a shovel. It's like a screwdriver. Sometimes you need a screwdriver, sometimes you need a hammer. People are applying college to 100% of kids. Nonsense. For those of you who are beginners, you can go buy my courses, you can watch free YouTubes. I got a podcast, go to tylocus.com. Those of you, this is for those of you who don't wanna underperform your net worth because you already got real net worth. You got liquid cash in the bank. Click the link below, fill out the form. Please be honest on the thing. Don't exaggerate or under-exaggerate your network. Just say what it is. In worst case, we'll say, hey, we'll put you on the waiting list. Good luck out there. Remember what I say. Buy experience, buy wisdom of others. It will, if you remember one thing I say in this video, remember that. Buy it. Don't beg for it, buy it. People begging, I'm like, People go to McDonald's. You should beg for a McDonald's hamburger. You should go to McDonald's where you're like, hey, this McDonald's food is garbage. Can you give it to me for free? People, when it comes to advice, they want a free. You buying junk food, you have no problem. You just shell out the money. Let me buy cancer. <laughs> Let me buy diabetes. But it's like, uh, you may want to buy advice, mentorship, wisdom. Nah, nah, I'm going to be real skeptical on that. And you know what you get? The world in which we live, where down is up and up is down.
Be different. Be opposite. You'll thank me one day.